Hello everyone, hi, this is Ubon King and welcome to episode 5 of Ask Ubon King. I don't take it for granted that you send me your questions. My responsibility is to ensure that I can give you clarity in the questions you ask and be able to get answers. Questions are the fastest way for you to get solutions and when you ask the right questions, you will get the right answers. And so those of you sending me messages on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram and even on WhatsApp, there's actually a dedicated number here that you can always send your questions and I will receive them and I'll process them, whether I send it better by typing or by video, I will use them. Now, so I'm going to be responding to a few questions today and hopefully it will help you. But this particular one really is, is dear to me. What kind of advice, because you are a man that is more focused on the youth, what kind of advice can you give to the youth during this uh, period of pandemic? Because you know that uh, as a result of the pandemic, many people have lost their jobs, uh, might be some started up with some little kind of businesses, but as a result of that, everything has collapsed. So, what I really like to ask is that, what advice can you give to us, the youth, that is like, uh, not only going to change the current situation, but it's also going to impact us positively in the future. Thank you. Haman, I see your question. I think first of all, it is important that we understand the times that we're in. Everything is changing and um, we cannot ignore the changes. So what do we do? Do we fold our hands and sulk that the situation is bad or do we get moving with what we have? As a young man, there are two major skills I would need you, a young woman, two major skills I need you to you know, develop now. The first and most important one is your people relationship management skills people relation management skills, how to talk to people, how to relate with people, how to respect people, how to be able to connect with people. Because your money or your success is tied to people. You must be able to communicate, you must be able to relate, you must be able to see them as part of your success plan. If you don't see people as part of your success plan, you will lose it. No matter the kind of responsibility you're handling, no matter the kind of association you are in no matter the kind of place that you live if you can connect with people if you know how to relate with people you are creating opportunities for yourself to grow to the next level so your people management skill know how to deal with all types of people and I tell people there are always four types of people you always meet and when you meet them compartmentalize them into these categories the first one are the people that are in the addition compartment I use addition subtraction multiplication and division addition are people who come to you who tell you nice things but they don't add money to you they don't increase your network they just make you feel happy so I call those people the happy people then you have the people that are in the subtraction department I call those ones joy killers they come they don't like what you do they do everything to demean you they don't take money from you they don't um, they don't scatter you but what they do is that um, they are able to frustrate you know your happiness so I call them joy killers then you now have the third kind of people which are put in the multiplication department those ones are the people that they increase your money they come to you they give you opportunities they give you business those people are in the multiplication department you know those people increase your money increase your contact increase your business increase your opportunity those people are very important then you have the people in the division compartment the division compartment are people whereby when you meet them, if you give them money, they don't return. If you give them your share, they tear. If you give them your car, they spoil it. They cause you losses, significant losses. So they're in the department of the division people. So they, I call them the debt wishers. Anybody you put in the subtraction or the division department, you have no business with them. Cut off from them. They are time wasters. So learn to grow your relationship with people in the multiplication department and people in the addition department. Once you are able to compartmentalize that, it is important. Look at everybody, every potential person that you see as an opportunity to the next level. I say everybody that I see is money personified. Money personified. You are just a working money. You are, you are working access to money. So that's how I always relate to people. Your people management skill is very, 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 very critical. And then number two is the understanding of digital skills. In this day and age, you need to understand where digitalization is going to. Digitalization of product, digitalization of communication. 
you know, automation of systems and also, you know, the, um, the, the blockchain that has to do with cryptocurrency. You must understand where the world is going. You cannot sit where you are and begin to say, no, you are not getting involved. You don't want to go in. It will swallow you in just a function of time. So if you're a young man or a young woman, please get to understand people management skill and digitalization. That will save you a great deal. You need it because in 10 years time, everything you know as a normal world is about to change, especially with the influx of AI, artificial intelligence, everything has changed before your very eyes. So get involved in digitalization, get involved in people management skills and everything in your life changes. So I have another question from Collins. Collins on YouTube is saying, how do I handle rejections? Mm. Collins, let me say welcome to the game and um, or with two things that are there for me, I will tell you, is understand your market. Understand the market you want to play in. Your market is critical. Understanding your market helps you to know where your services are needed. If you go to where your services are needed, you will reduce the number of rejections you have. If you go to a market where your services or your products are not needed, you will have a higher level of rejection. So identify your market. Your market will typify who needs it. So with that, you are able to de de decide the avatar of the person. What's something they call the customer avatar. So your customer avatar is focused on that type of person that is, say for example, you want to sell, you know, um, school bags. You know, school bags, if you want to sell school bags, you're not going to sell, sell it to a man working in a bank because that is not the avatar. Now, so your avatar is a young person who is going to school and then most likely they buy in, in the September or August or January when they're going back to school. So those are the people you target. Where would you find them? How would you find them? Through their parents and everything. So those kind of people through schools, you can go to schools and send out flyers or whatever or find a way to communicate. So those are your target market. If you're going to be selling ladies' shoes, you don't have a business going to a man. It's hard for a man to buy a lady's shoes, except if he wants to impress his wife or his spouse or his uh, fiance or something like that. Then that is where your customer will be. But if you focus on a woman who likes trend, who likes style, that is your avatar. And so you identify that how much is the person ready to spend and cool. So there are some people that say, okay, I can't spend more than 5,000 naira per shoe. And then maybe I can, now once I can spend 100,000 naira per shoe. And your shoes are 100,000 naira. So your avatar will say it is for a woman who can spend 100,000. So those are the kind of people you are looking for. If you identify those kind of people, then you can market there, you reduce your rejection there. And also note that in every pitch that you go for, there is always a stage, a stage, I mean, a stage of making business. One is the awareness stage. Awareness stage will always draw a lot of people to reject you. So it's not always everybody that will buy from you at the awareness stage. Awareness stage for you to make your name out there. From awareness, you go to the acceptance stage. Acceptance is where people receive what you have said. Ah, this guy is good. He knows what he's selling. So you have passed from the awareness to the acceptance. They have received you. Then from there, you enter the marketing stage. The marketing stage is where you tell them the value of that product which you are selling or the value of that service. They have not paid you. So, okay, that shoe is 100,000 naira. So first of all, they know you sell shoes. Second of all, is that the shoes are fine and beautiful. Now, Thirdly, you have entered into the marketing stage where you have told them the value of the shoes is 100,000 naira. So the third stage is where you tell them the value. They have not bought, you have just told them the value. Then the fourth stage is the stage called sales, whereby there's exchange of money. So they have seen your shoe, they know that your shoes are good, they have accepted, they know the value of your shoe, which is the marketing. Now they are giving you money for your shoes, which is the sales stage. Now after the sales, then you now have the referral. The referral is the last stage where people accept your shoes, they know your shoe is good, the quality is good and next thing is that tell people about your shoes so every time you meet people always ask yourself at what stage is this person on my business is this person at awareness stage is this person at marketing stage is this person at acceptance stage or is this person at sales stage so every time you go if you go to somebody and then you want to pitch your shoe to that person to buy or your product to that person and that person is only at awareness stage and you think the person is at sales pay sales stage you will think they rejected you know they've only heard about your business for the first time so please consider that understand this stage and walk through it that's how you deal with rejection you will know that that rejection is just a temporary one to when you make the sale i hope this helps you a lot and see you on the next edition of ask bon king please send your questions to us and then we'll reply them thank you